What's up guys? Welcome to the Flow Cast. My name is Steven Maxlow. Today's video we are going to be looking at my favorite deck of all time of Yu-Gi-Oh! Period. End of story. The Charizard of Yu-Gi-Oh! The main boss monster. Some people may say Dark Magician, but that's more like Pikachu though. For real, for real. Like if we're, you know, comparing, you know, apples to oranges here. So we got Blue Eyes White Dragon. The fiercest monster of the Yu-Gi-Oh! series. And the best monster, if you ask me, everybody loves blue eyes, although the art on this is kind of sus. If you guys are new here on the Floaty Cast, like this video and subscribe. It means a lot. Honestly, it really does. Especially if you like this video, it helps me out in the algorithm. And uh, turn that bell on so you know my videos go live for you. I like to stream every now and then, so I don't want you guys to miss that for sure. So do all those things for me, you know typical YouTube stuff. And uh, yeah. Before we get started, though, I do want to mention that. I had some goals for the year 2022 for the YouTube channel, and we've already exceeded them. It just turned over on the new calendar year, so thank you guys so much for that. It really means a lot, and that's why we're doing this video today. It's a special one because we're showcasing my favorite deck and one that got me into Yu-Gi-Oh! when I was like 10 years old, and we're going to see if it still holds up in today's meta. So... To commemorate that awesome goal that we had and the uh, everything else, we're going to do a deck profile on Blue Eyes White Dragon. So once again, thank you guys so much. It means a lot. And let's just get started. I'm going to quit rambling. I'll start crying. And, you know, that doesn't look well. Grown man crying on a YouTube video. That's terrible. Terrible press. Anyway, here we go. Blue Eyes White Dragon. If you guys don't know what this card does, I don't know why you're watching this video. Period. Uh, it's a normal monster with 3,000 attack and 2,500 defense. I'm pretty sure, last time I checked, this is the strongest normal monster in the game. And I think it will always be that way. So, yeah, we got to play it. This deck runs on Blue Eyes White Dragon. The whole point of this deck is to get your Blue Eyes White Dragons out so you can go into your big boss monsters and your extra deck. That is the reason we play this deck. Because White Stone of Legends lets us add a Blue Eyes White Dragon to our hand. This lets us special summon a blue eyes by discarding a level one effect light tuner. This lets us add a blue eyes white dragon to our hand. Also, at the end of your turn, you can special summon a blue eyes white dragon. This one reveals a blue eyes white dragon, blue eyes alternative white dragon here. Reveals a blue eyes white dragon uh, from your hand and special summon the blue eyes alternative white dragon onto the field. So you can play him, go into a blue eyes white dragon on the field as well, and then you can get your level eight exe summon, right? We also got Dragon Spirit of White, another thing that brings out your Blue Eyes White Dragons because this card is always treated as a Blue Eyes card, obviously, and this card is treated as a normal summon monster or normal monster while in the hand or graveyard, so it counts. Um, while you also do that, uh, when this card is normal, a special summon, you can target one spell or trap card your opponent controls and banish it, which is super good. They'll have an annoying trap card or a spell card sitting on the field. You can just pop that, banish it, get rid of it. It's out of play, which we all know in Yu-Gi-Oh! It doesn't really matter. And then you can tribute this card, Special Summon 1 Blue-Eyes White Dragon, from your hand. So every single monster here, except for these last three, we'll talk about them in a second, revolves around Blue-Eyes White Dragon. That is the pinnacle, all right? That is the reason we play this deck. We have Chaos Dragon Levy in here because we do play Light. Uh, attribute monsters. I've also learned that when I say light type, it's not a type. It's a attribute types or dragon types. Anyway, I digress. I'm still learning, okay? You can banish three light and or dark monsters from your graveyard. When special summon this way, you can activate the following effects. Since we pretty much play light monsters, we do have some dark monsters, but mostly we have light. So most of the time, we're going to be doing the only light. Special summon one monster from your hand or from your graveyard in defense position. So you can get him out, banish your things, get your blue eyes out. Now you have two level eights, your XZ summoning. That's, it's to get into your big combo pieces, right? Same with Nebula Dragon. You can reveal this card and one other level eight dragon monster in your hand, special summon both in defense position. Another uh, thing to get your big combo pieces out. So it's really good. 
And for the rest of this turn, except light or dark dragon monsters, you can banish this card. Or, no, I, I read that wrong. I'm sorry. You cannot normal or special summon monsters for the rest of this turn, except light or dragon, or light or dark dragon monsters, which is pretty much what, that's all we got. So that's fine. And then uh, you can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one level four light or dark dragon monster in your graveyard, add it to your hand. And so you just bring out your white stone of ancients, do the play again, get your blue eyes out. That's, that's how we do things, right? We got some consistency cards. We do play a lot of level eight monsters. So we play trade in to draw two cards. We have Melody of the Awakening Dragon that discards a card and add up to two dragon monsters with three or more, 3,000 or more attack power. I wish that I knew that was up to dra uh, two dragon monsters because I kept grabbing one, but that's fine. We got cards of consonants for more draw power. And then I'm going to be real with you guys on this deck. It can clunk up. You can have a really slow start. So we play a heavy trap count uh, to disrupt our opponent. So we can, you know, kind of stall a little bit if we got to, to get our combo pieces out and start swinging with big, big dragon type monsters. So we have Torrential Tribute. So when a monster is summoned, you can just destroy all monsters on the field. We have Ice Dragon's Prison, two co or three copies. Target one monster in your opponent's graveyard, special summon it to your field, but then its effects are negated. Then you can banish one monster from one, one monster from both players' fields that have the same type as each other. And so you can pretty much negate their board a little bit on that, especially if they play a lot from the graveyard. You can play at Ice Dragon's Prison, hit their combo piece out, or like their, the thing that starts everything. I can't think of the name of it. Their combo piece. So we'll just call it combo piece. They're whatever. Anyway, and then you can banish that same type of, say they have a dark attribute, or no, uh, say they have a spellcaster, right? Well, you can just, you know, pop their field and you can mess them up. It's fine. We got Solemn Strike as well. You pay a thousand life points, negate the summon or activation of a monster effect. And if you do destroy that card, really good to save us, save our neck. We got Imperial Order. It's a limited card. Negate all spell effects on the field once per turn during the standby phase. You have to pay 700 life points or this card is destroyed. I negate spell effects. It's good, right? If they play nasty spells, you can negate nasty spells. It's always good. We got Rivalry of the Warlords. Each player can only control one type of monster. Send all other face-up monsters they control to the graveyard. So if they play multiple types, right? If we had sideboarding in this, we would definitely be taking some of this out. But we try to play all these pieces. Say they got multiple types. Well... We only play dragons, so we can just control dragons and we're chilling. They, on the other hand, have to pick and choose what pieces they want to use, so that's good. We got Skill Drain. Skill Drain's really good as well. Activate this card by paying 1,000 life points. Negate the effects of all face-up monsters while they are face-up on the field. So, yeah, that's pretty good. We got goes and match. Each player can only control one attribute of monsters. Send all other face-up monsters they control to the field. Kind of the same as Rivalry or Warlords, but it's attributes instead of types. So that's why we play two of each. And then our good trap card here for the Blue Eyes engine, it is True Light. Your opponent cannot target your Blue Eyes White Dragon in your monster zone with card effects. If this face-up card is sent from the spell... In Trap card to the graveyard. Destroy all monsters you control. You can only use the following effect of true light once per turn. Activate one of these effects. Special summon one blue eyes white dragon from your hand or graveyard. Set one spell slash trap directly from your deck. And that specifically lists blue eyes white dragon in its text with a different name from the cards you control and in your graveyard. It's another way to get uh, Blue Eyes White Dragons out on the field. And it's also a way to protect your Blue Eyes White Dragons when they're on the field. So this is a really good, obviously, it's a Blue Eyes card. So it pairs well with our engine we got going on here. Now getting on to the extra deck, we have Azur, Azur Eyes Silver Dragon. This came in that structure deck from eons ago. I used to own this card. Love it. Actually, still got it. Anyway, that's not important. If this card is special summon until the end of... 
the next turn neither players can target dragon monsters you currently control with card effects also they cannot be destroyed by card effects so it gives protection to our dragons and during your standby phase you can target one normal monster in your graveyard special summon it so you can special summon blue eyes of course and you can special summon dragon spirit of white because it is a normal monster when it's in the graveyard but when it's on the field, it's an effect monster. Then you can target one spell trap card. Your opponent controls, banish it, and then you, you get the deal. We also got Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon. I stopped playing right before this card came out. And same thing with Alternative Dragon. If I'd have kept playing, uh, this is what I would have played. Uh, One tuner plus one plus non-tuner Blue Eyes Monster. Neither player can special summon two or more monsters at the same time. Once per turn, when an effect of a card in the graveyard is activated, you can negate the effect. You can tribute this Synchro Summon card, Special Summon, one Light Dragon Synchro Monster from your extra deck in defense position, so you're Azura Eyes, right? And, but destroy it uh, during the end phase of this turn. So, like... You can obviously play something other than Azurize. I just didn't have anything else. You could play like a Stardust Spark Dragon, uh, the Moonlight Rose Dragon, whatever. You could play that and just one Azurize. But this is like your guy, right? This is one of your big pieces as well because you can negate effects and then special summon, uh, special summon a like Dragon Monster from your extra deck and but destroy it. So you get some protection, which is nice. And... Yeah, this is pretty good. We got Thunder and Dragon. I used to own this card too. Haha. -ha. This is a little oldie but goodie. Uh, two level eight normal monsters can Exe summon on off of this. Detach one Exe's material from this card. So one of your blue eyes or whatever is on it. And destroy all other monsters on the field. So you just blow everything up, right? Except this card. We got number 46, Dragluon. Dragluon. I, Dragluon. How do you say that without... Yeah, anyway. Once per turn, if you control no other monsters, you can detach one Exe's material from this card and then activate one of these effects. Special summon one dragon type from your hand. Target one dragon type your monster your opponent controls. Take control of it. Dragon type monsters your opponent control cannot ac activate their effects until the end of your opponent's turn. This is pretty good against those things, those nasty things, right? Those things that like... I don't know, like, can get big. I think there was, like, a Dark Rebellion Dragon thing that, like, had, like, 6,000 attack. I wish I could have got this guy out, but it's fine. I remember this guy, too. Number 38, Hope Harbinger Tachyon Dragon. Dragon ta Titanic Galaxy. That's it. I thought it was Tachyon Dragon, but that's a different one. Two level eight monsters once per turn when a spell card or effect is activated, the, you can negate that effect. And if you do attach that card to this card as material, when an opponent declares an attack, you can detach one material from this card, change the attack target to this card and perform damage calculations. So like if they're trying to hit one of your little guys, you can protect them with this guy and then blow their monster up, which is kind of funny. You can target one face-up Exe's monster you control. It gains attack equal to one of those destroyed monsters' originals attack. We also got our Galaxy Eyes Cypher Dragon. We got Sanafon number 68, which is super good. We got Draglubion, which lets you... It negates uh, target... You can, Your opponent can't target this card with card effects. And you can detach one material from this card, take two dragon number monsters, blah, blah, blah. You know the deal. It can get your uh, your Galaxy Eye Cypher or this guy. It can get this guy and this guy. And we got Heart Earth Dragon as well. Cannot be destroyed by battle. Also, your opponent takes any damage you would have taken from attacks evolving this card. So they can't swing into this, which is good. We got Link Spider. You can special summon one level four or lower monster from your... I don't know why we have Link Spider in here. But we got it. It's good. <laughs> we got level one or we got Link Karibo. This can negate some attacks, which is super nice. And then you can special summon this back after you tribute one level monster. And then you can go into your blue eyes, so on and so forth. You get the deal. We also got Heretic Heavens of the Seals. It pops things back to your hand and then... So it's some more like safety nets. And then we got Christron Halle Hawkifibrax. Hawkifibrax. Sure. 
two monsters, including a tuner. If this card is linked, summon, you can special summon one level three or lower tuner from your hand or deck in defense position, but it cannot affa activate effects this turn. During your battle phase, your opponent's main phase or battle phase, you can banish this card you control, special summon one tuner synchro monster from your extra deck. You can only use this effect once. So this is really good to get out your... Uh, is it one tuner? Wait, what? One tuner synchro monster. Oh, we don't care about that. We just care about special summoning our uh, tuners, which is really good. So that's the deck. We're going to get into some games. Hopefully it goes well. And uh, let's see how it goes. All right, Wichita with the car. Is that a Lambo? I don't know, but we're going first. I hope this goes well. <laughs> Prayers. It shouldn't be too bad. I just hope the turns don't take 40 forever, right? Of course they will. All right, this ain't bad. We can like set this. We're going first. We can set this. Uh, Use trade in to draw two cards, discarding our blue eyes, and then we can activate the effect. I'm pretty sure it lets a special summon a blue eyes from it. Yeah, that's good. Oh, we also got, oh, no, we don't. Uh, we can set that. That's fine. What does this do? All right. When this card is normal summon, you can add one level. Yeah. So we'll just summon this dude. And then we'll add one. We'll add a white stone of ancient. We'll extend our turn here by uh, activate effect activation. Pop this. Right. Oh, I got to click on it again. Effect activation. Pop this. That way we can special summon blue eyes on the field, which is super good. And then, uh, well, hold on. Hold on. This card is in the graveyard because it was sent there. You can special summon one blue eye. Yep, we're going to do that. All right, we're buzzing. We're, we're actually buzzing, right? Oh, that goes to the hand, but that's fine because we can play blue eyes alternative. Dragon, reveal this dude. Go absolutely bananas. Here we go. Special summon. Who do we want? What is this? I already forgot what this did. Yeah. Let's get our boy out. Pop. Pop. Face oh, no. I want to face up defense position for now a little bit of protection wait what does this do you can disc in the target one effect to send it to the graveyard if you do special summon one blue eyes from your deck no i don't want to do that not him that'd be horrible oh what does this do okay uh once per turn when an effect card is that you can negate it no i don't want to do that I'm not activating any effect. Wait, let me, let me make sure I read that right. No, that's stupid. And all right, so we did get our big boy out. One of them. We could probably, uh, let's see what my man's got. I don't have a blue eyes in the, in the graveyard. Maxi, why did he play that Maxi? That don't make no sense. Cancel. Oh, I, I mean, I guess I could special summon next turn, but I don't know why he did that. That's all right. The player with the lowest life points take no damage once per turn during the main phase. The player that can pay 1,000 active, draw one card, destroy this card. Your opponent gains 1,000 life points. Chicken game. I've seen that card before. Do I pop it? <laughs> yeah, let's go. Let's do it. Oh, he's going to draw a card with Maxi's. Oh, I got to do it. I already clicked it. That's all right. We can do that. That's fine. Uh, 
effect activation so we can get blue eyes out yes special summon one blue eyes from my hand so he's gonna get like two two uh two cards i think he's playing like exodia or something give me blue eyes white dragon that just sounds tastier all right I don't need to activate that. I gotta get rid of that chicken dragon. Chicken game. I thought I I thought I negated it. Oh, God. Does he got a spellcaster? No, not yet. All right. I got nothing right now. Oh my goodness, we're about to get Exodian. Well, that's fine. I'll give him some five minutes of fame, right? I wish I had like an Ash Blossom. That would have been really nice. Link Karibo. Oh, I can do this. LOL. Oh, wait, why did I do that? Oh, that's why I did this. We're chilling. Did it work? Oh, it didn't work because it's uh, it's attribute, not type. Pseudo space suck. Bro, if he gets Exodia out, I'm gonna oh my god, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be bodied, bro. Cause that's exactly what he's doing. He's getting Exodia out. He's trying to do it this turn. He's trying to do it this turn. He's working it, bro. Look at him. You got it yet, bro? Nope. He didn't have it. Oh, this is perfect. <laughs> this is a perfect draw right here. Karibo and try and get something going here. What does that do?
Wait, what does this do? Draw the number, draw cards equal to the number of house of good goblin housekeeping cards in your graveyard, plus one, then select one card from your hand or return it to the bottom of the deck. Okay. If this card, face up card, is sent from the. Let's see what this does. Oh, look at us. Is my effects negated? Dude, that'd be insane. You got Exodia in your hand yet, bro? You better have it next turn or I'm winning. This is going to take a minute. Uh, let's look. Let's see what we got here. Anything to destroy spells. Anything to destroy spells. Let's look here. What does this do? I don't think I have any. Well, I have it in my hand. If I do this, oh wait, what does this do? I almost forgot about that. Uh, one, two, let's see. That's, oh, I got plenty. All right. Um, Summon. We'll just summon him. Yes. I think we got enough to win this thing. I think so. Ash Blossom? Whatever. That's cool. I'm finna win anyway. I, uh, let's go to battle phase. Hopefully, bro, if he mirror forces me, I'm going to be sick. Let's go. Give it to me straight, doctor. You got something? Nope. That's what happens when you read cards. I almost didn't see that play. <laughs> 